I'm Kevin Doherty, Chair of the Hope Starts Here campaign at Providence Healthcare and also Vice Chair of the Foundation Board. And my name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm President and CEO of Providence Healthcare Foundation. The first time I went through Providence Healthcare, I was just, I was just blown away by the care and the process and you know, how they take people through their journey, whether it's to get back to their lives or at the end of their lives. And it was just incredibly inspiring for me. The Hope Starts Here campaign is a $16 million capital campaign to raise essential funds for Providence Healthcare. Ultimately, the goal of this campaign is to create a perfect care experience for our patients so that when they are with us, they're getting the best experience possible for both them and their loved ones. Our palliative care program is really a dream that stemmed from our staff because they found that there was going to be a better way to take care of people during their end of life journey. So I think the idea behind it was always set on a beauty about life and celebrating life and a life well lived. When we brought the idea together, it was not only for the people going through the palliative journey, but the ones who love them. It'll be a revolutionary look at how palliative care is delivered in Ontario. My name is Shireen, and my grandfather, Alf Baksh, was a patient in palliative care at Providence Healthcare. I grew up with him as if he was my father, a second father, but he was more than a parent to me. He was a very close friend. The stroke was a, it was a major stroke that probably could have taken his life, and so they said immediately, let's start looking into short-term care, and that's when my grandmother said, I want him to go to Providence. <laughs> it became a home away from home, and I was impressed with that, and I was happy that my grandmother felt comfortable here, so I felt comfortable, my family felt comfortable, and we knew that my grandfather would feel comfortable there as well. The staff, they go above and beyond to care about everyone, like the patients and their families, because it's not just the patient that's going through something, and that's what I think Providence recognizes. He was the one that was sick, but it affected everybody. And that's really what drew our family to this palliative care unit at Providence. Tracy, the activities manager in the palliative care unit, she coordinates all these fun activities for the patients to do. And she brings them to the solarium and she has an activity there like for them to enjoy, whether it's a sing-along, the piano, or a game. One day she asked me, because she found out that I dance, and uh, she asked if I would be interested to perform in the solarium for the patients and I could bring my grandfather. So I was like, this is great because like, I want to, I've, I've never danced for my grandfather live before. So I wanted to make it special, like a special memory that I could have with him at Providence because for me, like my memories weren't ending home before he got sick. I was still making memories there at Providence with him. I brought my grandfather and my family, and they came and they saw me, and the other patients and their families were there. I'm not sure why my grandfather couldn't speak or see anymore, but he always had this tendency to just close his eyes all the time. Even if you were talking to him or anything was going on, his eyes were just closed. And I noticed that for the full hour, his eyes were open. I don't know why. Something just told me that, you know, I'm finally able to perform for you and you're finally somehow watching me. We miss him a lot. He lived a long life and because he was so happy with his life, I think that our family walks away with that too. His memory's always there whenever we're together. We think about how, you know, he's not suffering anymore. And he enjoyed his life, so we should enjoy it too. We're not gonna stop doing what we normally do. Like, he loves to play cards, we still play cards. He likes to go out, we're still gonna go out. And when, when we do those things, actually, we remember him. We weren't mourning his life when he moved to Providence. We were celebrating his life. We were still enjoying his life with him or for him while he was still there. I was really happy that, that he kept his eyes open the whole time and I will always be grateful till this day that I got that opportunity from Providence to perform there for their unit, their patients, the other families and for my grandfather.
My name is Shereen and hope starts with me. Hope starts here. And hope starts with you.